Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mood. Here we have interesting exponential equation x to the power x equal to x. How can you solve this? First of all, we can divide both sides by x because we know that x is not equal to 0. Because if we put 0 right here, we will have 0 to the 0 power equal to 0, which is not correct. Because on the left we will have 1, on the right we will have 0. So we can divide, of course, both sides by, by x. We will have x to the power x over x equal to 1. Okay, what we're going to do next? Of course, if we have x in our denominator, we can bring this to our denominator, but we need to put minus right here, because right now we have x to the first power, of course, in our denominator, and we want to bring this x to our denominator, and we need to put minus right here, near our 1. So we will have x to the minus 1 power. So we will have x to the power x, and our x to the first power we bring to our denominator times x to the power minus 1 equal to 1. Nothing hard because we have same basis but different exponents. So of course, we can write it in one power. We can write it as x to the power x minus 1 equal to 1. Because if we have a to the power a, a to the power x times a to the power b, for example, we can write it as a to the power x plus b. And we use this rule right here. What we're going to do next, of course, we can write this one as x to the 0 power, and we need to write an equation with our exponent, so we will have the final equation x minus 1 equal to 0. And from here, x equal to 1. And this is our root. And we can check it real quick. We will have 1 to the first power equal to 1, which is correct, and this is good root for us. But take a look. We can, of course, put right here minus 1. And let's check minus 1, because I feel this root will be good for us as well. So we will have minus 1 to the power minus 1 equal to minus 1. This minus 1 we can write in our denominator because right now it's in our denominator. We will have something like that. We can write this in our denominator, so we will have 1 over minus 1 to the power 1 equal to minus 1. And it will be correct or not, so right here to the power minus 1 it will be minus 1 times 1 equal to minus 1, which is correct. So as you can see, minus 1 will be good root for us. So we will have two roots, x first equal to 1, and x second equal to minus 1. And this is our two roots. If you agree with that method, if you disagree, maybe you have a better, a faster method how to solve this, write a suggestion in a comment, write a question in a comment, it will be really interesting to read it. Don't forget to subscribe, to put thumbs up, I really appreciate it, and thank you for watching, and see you in the next videos.